Hello students, we are going to continue our lesson by studying simultaneous equation. I know you are all very familiar with this topic because it's very common. You all know what it entails. So we are just going to have a gist about it and then we end it, okay? Quickly. Now when we talk about simultaneous equation, we are talking about having two variables x and y. Earlier on, we learned that if we have 3x plus 4 is equal to let's say 9 and we have been asked to solve for x we say 3x is equal to 9 minus 4 3x is equal to 5 x is equal to 5 over 3 or x is equal to let's say 1 over number 2 over 3 now this is an equation given to you which has only one variable and you have been asked to find the solution to that one variable which is the variable x now in a situation where you are given two variables x and y you can be given, let's say, 4x minus y is equal to 6, then x plus 3y is equal to 9. You are supposed to solve for x and y. So we identify this as equation 1 and this as equation 2. What happens in this situation is we have three different methods of solving simultaneous equation. We have what we call the graphical method. Graphical method. We also have what we call the elimination method elimination method and then we have the substitution method substitution method okay so we are going to we are going to have a look at all these three methods of solving simultaneous equation so let's start with the graphical method now for example if we have using a scale of two centimeters to one unit on the x-axis and two centimeters to two units on the y-axis. Draw the graph for the straight lines. Y plus two x is equal to one, and y minus three x is equal to eleven. On the same graph sheet, find the coordinates of the point of intersection. So we move to our graph board, and then we solve this simultaneously. Now, before we can solve this. What we need to do is we need to find values of x and y which should correspond to our table and then we plot it and then when we find their point of intersection then we write them down and that will be our solution so sometimes when you have an equation sometimes they tell you you can find the x and y intercept but in this case i will advise you only pick three points or two points on the oxy plane and then you just add it plot it as your x values and then you find the corresponding y values and then you plot it now one thing is for any straight line any two points you pick the gradient is always what the same so you can choose to get two points or three points or if you like four points so it depends on you what you want so i'm going to pick three points on the oxy plane and i'm going to find the values of what x and y okay. so we are going to solve for y plus 2x is equal to 1 as our first equation and y minus 3x is equal to 11 y minus 3x is equal to 11 as our second equation so what we are going to do is we are going to make y the subject so making y the subject from equation 1 so making y the subject making y the subject in equation 1 we shall have this is our equation 1, and then this is our equation 2. We shall have y is equal to 1 minus 2x. Now, I'm going to pick three values of x and three values of y in the OXY plane, and then put them here. I have x and y. So, let's assume I have negative 2, 0, and 2. Okay? I have the x values of negative 2, 0, and 2. So don't let your x values move so far away. Let it just be around. You can pick negative 4, 0, and 3. Anything you want to pick, just pick them. But just be, you know, a little matured about it. You understand? So picking negative 2, 0, and 2. When x is negative 2, I put it into this equation. If I have y equals to 1 minus 2x, when x is equal to negative 2, my y will be equal to 1 minus 2 times negative 2, which will be 1 minus 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, which will give me positive 5. 
So when x is negative to y is 5. The same way when x is 0, okay? When x is 0, 2 times 0 is 0, y will be equal to 1. So I have y equals to 1 minus 2 times 0. So y will be equal to 1. Well, when x is 0, y is 1. And then we go for the last one. When x is equal to positive 2. So when x is equal to 2. This is when x is equal to 0. So when x is equal to 2, we put it back into the equation. y is equal to 1 minus 2 times 2. y will be equal to 1 minus 4. y will be equal to minus 3. So when x is 2, y is minus 3. So that is for our first equation. Then we move to the second equation, which is um, y minus 3x is equal to 11. So y minus 3x is equal to 11. The same thing, we are going to make x the subject of this relation. So making x the subject, so make, sorry, making y the subject, make y the subject, make y the subject, we shall have y to be equal to 11 plus 3x. So if y is equal to 11 plus 3x, we are going to pick three values of x and then three values of what? With this corresponding, we find the corresponding values of y. So if I have my x and my y, let's say I pick um, negative 1 or negative 2, negative 2, 0, and then let's say 3. Negative 2, 0, and 3. So let's go. Y will be equal to, when x is equal to negative 2, I'll have y to be equal to 11 plus 3 times negative 2, y will be equal to 11 minus 6. y is equal to what? 11 minus 6 is 5. So when x is negative 2, y is 5. And then when x is 0, when x is equal to 0, y will be equal to 11 plus 3 times 0. y will be equal to what? 11. So when x is 0, y is 11. And then the last one, when x is equal to 3, when x is equal to 3, Y will be equal to 11 plus 3 times 3. Y will be equal to 11 plus 3, 3, 9. Y will be equal to 20. So when x is 3, y is 20. Now, with these corresponding values of x and y, you know when x is negative 2, y is 5. When x is 0, y is 1. When x is 2, y is negative 3. When you get to the second equation, when x is negative 2, y is 5. When x is 0, y is 11. And when x is 3, y is 20. We are going to plot this point on our OXY plane. And from the question, we are told that we should have 2 centimeters to 1 unit on the x-axis and 2 centimeters to 2 units on the y-axis. So let's find the corresponding values of x and y. So because we have two centimeters to one unit on the x-axis. My values of x range from negative two to positive two, or negative two to positive three. So assuming I have, let's say, negative four here, negative three, negative two, negative one, zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, I can get my x values. Now when we go to the y values, okay? So I'm dotting this point as my origin for the meantime. Then I go for my y values. The highest value of y is 20. Okay? So if 2 centers to 2 units, then I can have 22, 20, 18, 16, 14, 12. Do we have any negative values? Okay, no. So 12, 10, 8, 6, 4, 2, 0. So I can have my origin here. So I'll have this point as my origin. So now I'm going to draw my straight lines. That's my x and my y axis. So I have my y axis here. Then I label it. So I have this as my y axis. So if this is my y axis, I have this as my y axis. Then my x axis will be here. I have my x-axis here. So this is my x-axis. Mm -hmm. 
This my origin zero. This my y axis. I have my negative y here, my negative x, and then this my positive x. So we are told two centimeters to one unit on the x axis. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. Negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four. Then two centimeters to two units on the x axis uh, on the y axis. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty. With the given values. X is negative 2 and Y is 5, X is 0, Y is 1, and X is 2, Y is negative 3. We are going to plot this point on the OXY plane. So when X is negative 2, Y is 5. So we have negative 2, 5. So negative 2, 5, we have it here in between 4 and 6. Then we have 0, 1. When X is 0, Y is 1. This is 0, 2. So in between... 0 and 2 is 1, so 0, 1. And then when x is 2, y is negative 3. When x is 2, y is negative 3. This is negative 2, negative 4. So we have negative 3 in the middle. So with these three points, we are going to pick our rule, and then we rule the straight line. We get a straight line from it. So we make sure our rule is on those three points, and I'm very sure the straight line will pass through all the three points, okay? So we are going to rule the straight line from one end to the other. So we have two. So we have, this is our straight line. So we have our straight line for y minus, y is equal to one minus two x, or y plus two x is equal to one. So this is the straight line for y plus two x is equal to one. Then we move to the second point, or the second equation. y minus 3x is equal to 11. So we are saying when x is negative 2, y is 5. When x is 0, y is 11. And when x is 3, y is 20. So we have negative 2, 5. x is negative 2, y is 5. Which is the same point as this, negative 2, 5. Then we have x is 0, y is 11. 0, 11. So we have 0, 11, somewhere here, in between 10 and 12. And then when x is 3, y is 20. So 3, 20 is up here, 3, 20. So we are going to pick our rule, and then we draw the straight line. Remember, it starts from this point. It starts from this point, so we shall have this. So we shall have our straight line as this. So this is the straight line of y minus 3x is equal to 11. Okay? Now, we are asked to find their point of intersection. We are asked to find their point of intersection. And their point of intersection is this two points. Is this point where we have our x, corresponding value of x to be this, and corresponding value of y to be this. Okay? So getting our value of x, we could see from here that x is equal to negative 2, and then y is equal to 5. So we can go back and write that the coordinates of the point of intersection, the coordinates, of the point of intersection is x is equal to negative 2, y is 5. So we have negative 2, comma 5. So the negative 2 is standing for our x value, and then 5 is standing for our y value. And you could see here that x is equal to negative 2, and y is equal to what? 5.